The Wine and She Show is a Metaverse and NFT discussion interview series brought to you by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and host Ben 68 and More Cheats. Warning, the information and opinions within are solely the views of the individuals involved contains content not suitable for anyone. One is a wanker, one's like it's Thomas, one's from Australia, one's from the Bronx. Snack size. Asian countries zero in on developing the metaverse and regulating crypto advertising. Um, just going to focus on the first part there, really, I think. Uh, now, we've talked a lot about how some of the Asian countries are investing, you know, billions of dollars. Some of the Arab countries, you know, multiple, multiple billions. So this one's all about um, South Korea. All right. So South Korea's push for a more open yet regulated approach to blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies continued this week as Hio, a member of the National Assembly with an entrepreneurial past, put forth a proposal to enact the Metaverse Industry Promotion Act in an effort to support the Web3 industry. So again, this is one of those articles we're talking about governments getting involved in setting up for Web3. This, this is not just... You know, people putting blockchain games out there, or this, that, and the other thing. But it this does is... say it does say support. So I'm yes. I'm feeling like this is going to be something like they're going to leave it up to the people, but just put things in place to kind of help them. Yeah. With it. Well, we talked about Hopefully. this last week, where the NFTs is the bridge between Web two and Web three, and you know, I I and we keep saying that the nft aspect of it is probably going to be you know bureaucracy and you know official documents and that sort of stuff so yeah i, I would imagine that with governments getting involved that would be a significant part of it as well i think this is just further fuel for that um the proposal from i'm not going to even try to say that from this guy was supported by numerous other national assembly members according to reports from local media the text of the bill establishes a Metaverse Policy Review Committee, which reports directly to the Prime Minister, which is your president, similar role, and will be tasked with deliber deliberating the policies promoting Metaverse development within the country. It all also requires the Minister of Science and Information and Communication Technologies to, in quotes, establish a basic plan for the activ activation of the Metaverse every three years. That sounds weird. Oh, I don't think so. It means they're going to get together and have a powwow and think, you know, what are we going to do with this thing? They're going to now, have an official <clears throat> team that, meeting, basically. That next uh, paragraph makes me a little worried. It says, companies that make the switch over from the legacy internet to metaverse also stand to benefit from the bill, which offered incentives and regulatory protections for those working in the metaverse related fields but what about the little people what about the bottom up people just is it just companies that are going to benefit yeah I, I think this is focusing again i think this is focusing more on the bureaucracy side of things so th think about companies as far as tax reporting or you know even pay slips and that sort of stuff or health insurance there's there's a whole myriad of ways the same technology that's currently applied to gaming and that sort of stuff could be applied to official documentation. So, yeah, anything that can streamline the process from a government perspective is probably something they're looking to invest in. So maybe that's what it's talking about more so than, you know, your smaller, smaller um, mum and pop sort of companies. Or I'm not really sure. Well, here we go. And this relates to that as well. Earlier this week, it was reported that the Bank of Korea has called for a lift on the ban of ICOs, initial coin offerings in the country, further evidence that the nation is looking to have a more open stance in regard to cryptocurrencies in blockchain, blockchain technology. Did you ever get into ICOs back in the day? No. I went in big time. How'd that go time. for you? Um, mixed bag. Uh, I went into a system where I was upscaling my ICO, ICO involvement. Like I put in some Ethereum and that went really well when I kind of reinvested and reinvested. Um, I had it worked out on paper that if I could do it again two more times, then it would have been, you're talking significant money, but just at the kind of the point of taking that next, next step was kind of, I think it was 
mid to late 2018 and the whole the government started cracking down left right and center because there were so many rug pulls i was lucky that i only i only ever got rug pulled once and that was like a 50 dollar investment or something so it was not right. much That's not yeah but um yeah it's yeah. funny actually uh you trust the company that upland uses for the crypto payments yeah i was in on that ico there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of companies that I was in on the ICO that are still around today and doing pretty well. So all right. it's good to see. So we shall see. But yeah, I, I think government involvement is a double-edged sword. It's kind of a blessing and a curse. It's going to help push everything along. It's going to help mainstream adoption, but it does come with um, regulation and that sort of thing as well. So it ain't always puppies and rainbows, the old regulation. This entertainment production is brought to you today by the Samurai Aquatics and Decor Metaventure. Scan that QR code or click that link in the description and dive yourself headfirst into the Samurai Aquatics Discord server to pleasure your peepers on our current and future range of outdoor decor. Get off the drive, put you with the hairbrush, 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 put you with